Welcome to Mini Garage, where we have fun with trucks. And by fun with trucks, I mean you guys get to watch and laugh while I get frustrated and cuss. So uh, let's dig in. Uh, this, this is Jacob Weber's B to Hell. B to Hell. I still dig it. Um, we put the motor in for him uh, a couple weeks ago, and he's been over here tinkering with it. Got the carb on, radiator in, uh, header on, and he got it fired up. Uh, still needs a little tinkering with. There's some wiring issues, and then we get to start the air ride, but that is not what we're focusing on today. Um, but congrats, Jacob, on your progress so far. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna head out head outside the, the yard here and mess with something. Today we're back on the the B2 Daily project, um, my FE3 swap Mazda, and we are going to pull the wiring harness out of the Kia. So uh, we'll try to take our time and do it methodically so we we don't miss anything and. It's just going to be a quick, quick video about how we take the wiring harness out. So uh, I'll get the hood off and we'll dig in. So as we were pulling the motor out, the harness was hooked here and here and then went across the transmission and we, we grabbed all that stuff out as the motor was coming out and here's where it was bolted to the back of the block and here also. Um, there's a boot where it goes into the cab. Um, looks like there's a ground wire here to unhook and another connector here and one more wire I missed on the EVAP can and this box should come out with those two bolts. Then, uh, then we get the ECU out, and I think it's under here. I don't know if it's gonna come out nice for me. Um, there's a plug. Looks like there's the ECU. So we will uh, pull the carpet out of the way and uh, kick panels and get it out. So as I stated, I pulled the, I got the kick panel torn off, pulled the carpet back, and there's our ECU. Looks like there's four bolts for that. And looks like the wiring plug comes in behind this. So I'll go ahead and pull that too. And uh, I'll run in the garage real quick, grab a couple wrenches and come right back to you. All right, well, I got all the nuts off this stuff. Um, let's see how they come out. Not there. There's some of the wires, sorry. There's some of the wires that I needed, and that's where the plug goes through the floor. The ECU comes right off. It's glued down a little bit, but there's the ECU. And it has, looks like this little flippy plug here that gets it, flips up, and releases it. Let me see if I can put the phone somewhere where you can see there's the ECU all disconnected so there's the ECU plug um, there's some grounds here that I need to take loose and then some plugs here these are the I don't know what they all go to but we'll find out together so I'll disconnect these and pull them through the floor. So I got the two cables unplugged, the ground's undone, and we'll go see if we can pull it through the outside. So that's where we gotta pull it out of the firewall. And so far, this has been way easier than what I anticipated. Cause I haven't had to pick and choose anything to cut, so let's keep going. <clears throat> After after I pulled the rubber boot off, it was easier to push this plug through the floor. So 
The next part we're going after is the accelerometer. We'll unplug that. Looks like should be, oh, there's one of these lifty plugs. So we'll grab something and pull that off. And then where else we got wires going? Those are all undone. Oh, the ground cable here. Like I said before, that's undone. So we'll pull a fuse box and this one here. So a couple more wires. So like I said, we're gonna take the accelerometer cable off, off the EVAP here, pull this ground here. We are damn near loose. Uh, that comes up. Okay, there's another spot over here where it's connected and it goes into this cavity here. I think that's where we cut it. I think that's the spot. So I cut this, this wire. There was a wire, extra wire from the positive side of the battery cable down to this breaker. And it goes from there back under the car somewhere. The only thing I could think of was possibly a fuel pump. And I'll run that down later and see, but it doesn't belong there. I cut the cable to the uh, wiper harness and I pulled the, this relay off. And now it's time for my, my favorite part is actually destroying stuff. So we're gonna use my cables, my cutters. See if I can get this to sit here so I can use two hands. And we're gonna live or die by the knife. This is a thick harness. And it's content with being where it's at, but we're gonna chop through it. Well, there, there's a no going back now. So I hope that was the right place. We have successfully We have successfully removed the harness from the rig. Time to put it together and put it in the Mazda. So there, there you have it. So for a real quick episode, that was the deconstruction of the harness and the computer out of the, of the Kia Sportage. And uh, watch next week when we figure out how to make it all go back in the in the Mazda. So for now, I hope you watched. I hope you liked, excuse me. For now, I hope you liked fun with trucks, making fun of me while I do stuff I don't know how to do. See you next time, we out. Hey, I'm Ron and that was Mini Garage. Before you take off, don't forget to hit up the website, hammerweekendwear.com, where we have hats like these, banners like those, stickers and all the swag you need to support our show. Thanks for tuning in.